Well, it looks like Nintendo's expanding their online services. Oh, we have most terrible Reggie Pizza Man! <laughs> OB1 plays? Yes, right. What's up? Oh, All right. OB1 plays? going on everybody <coughs> how are y'all doing before we get started you already know give the video a big thumbs up like 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 subscribe all that fun stuff and we are having a giveaway i am giving away a copy of mario strikers battle league when it drops next month make sure one you're subscribed to this channel the button is right below and follow me on twitter let's get right to the news game boy advance coming to nintendo switch online services now put this still in the rumor field until nintendo officially announces it but this is coming from comicbook.com and they are citing Shintaro Furukawa, Nintendo's global president's last week comments on Nintendo does have plans to expand the Nintendo Switch online service offerings in the near future and um, GameCube, a possibility. I'm still leaning towards GameCube. They're going to charge us 30 40 50 dollars for remastered gamecube games but <coughs> this article is saying nintendo switch um, is more than likely going to have um, game boy advance games to come to the services which makes sense um game boy advance did have unique exclusive titles however a lot of game boy advance games the game boy advance was almost like a portable super nintendo this is Super Mario World Advance <coughs> with slight modifications, a little bit, some upgrades, but it's, in, it's essentially the same Super Mario World game that we all love on the Super Nintendo. So, would you um, resubscribe if you stop subscribing to Nintendo Switch Online Services for Game Boy Advance game? I'm all in for retro titles. That's what I grew up on. That's what I love. And so let's go. The next news item. Not only did Kirby 64 launch today. Speaking of expanding Nintendo Switch online services, Kirby uh, 64, the Crystal Shards, did launch today on Switch online services. And <coughs> it looks like Nintendo also updated, updated, uh, Nintendo Switch Online, the Nintendo 64 um, app is now updated to version 2.3.0. And shout out to a data miner, uh, Oatmeal Dome, who revealed, who has revealed some of the improvements. And so Nintendo is behind the scenes making improvements and updates to Nintendo 64 games. There have been some complaints that some of the games, um, the emulation of some of the Nintendo 64 games aren't quite perfect, but um, it's good to see that um, Nintendo has updated the Nintendo 64 app and made some improvements, which include uh, Star Fox 64 had gamma adjustments enabled, um, Dr. Mario 64 had render settings adjustments Mario Golf had render, render settings adjustments. And so <coughs> Nintendo is updating the games constantly behind the scenes. This is dope that we're getting these games included in our subscription service. Xbox PlayStation does not have the history and the backlog like Nintendo. And so um, uh, more games to their online services are always two big thumbs up for your boy and the next news item i think this next one is pretty dope a new patent has been discovered and filed by nintendo and this is what it does it's 
a new anti-cheat program that may be used to combat cheating players in upcom in the upcoming Splatoon 3 game. I am hyped for Splatoon 3. Those of you who've been with me since the Wii U days, I was on that Splatoon 1, bro. You know how many? I put hundreds of thousands of people on Splatoon 1, and that is not an exaggeration. I was on Splatoon every day on this channel. And so, um, Splatoon 2, I still played it. But I'm going to really be back on the Splatoon grind when Splatoon 3 drops. And the pattern discovered by OpAttack, <coughs> and this is coming from TechRadar.com, is referred to as an attestation program. In short, the program will detect any unintended modifications to Nintendo Switch game software and code. Examples include... Preventing players from taking damage and artificially boosting movement speed or weapon accuracy are far beyond the limits of what's intended at any given in any given title. And so Nintendo has patented new anti-cheat software for all my PC dudes who like to hack, mod, and cheat in games. Nintendo said we're shutting it down, especially when Splatoon 3 drops. Are you getting Splatoon 3 day one? It's going to be a day one buy for me. So I think that's dope, dope, dope that Nintendo has patented anti-cheating for their games. And the next news item. As I reported yesterday, um, DC, uh, DC Comics has announced a new game. And this is the teaser trailer right here. It's the DC superheroes in a chibi art style, and it's coming in 2023. All platforms, including the Nintendo Switch, 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 and this is a brief description um, of the game that it will uh, be up to two players, according to the announcement, and it will be an action adventure type game. So can't wait to see actual gameplay, see what it involves. I like this. I like my video games to look like video games. And so, um, can't wait to see uh, what the gameplay is like uh, for all new DC games. And the last news item is a doozy, bro. A big one. Bro, Xbox has outsold PlayStation in Japan this last week. For one week, for one week, Xbox fans, you can rejoice. Now, as you can see, the Switch is killing everybody, especially in Japan where handhelds are king. <coughs> Switch OLED model, I just got my Switch OLED. Let me show it to y'all, boy. Well, I already did the unboxing. You can go watch that. It's in one of my recent videos, but I am loving the screen on this bad boy. Wow. And this feels like a next gen console with the internals of the same switch. The buttons at the top are changed just to feel small things like rubber notches when you put it on the table. It's more secure. It's just, it's the more I'm using this, the more I can really appreciate. Uh, what Nintendo's done with the OLED model. But of course, the screen, the screen, the screen is what um, is the highlight of this model. And so, the Switch OLED, 35,000. The Switch, 20,000. Switch Lite, 9,000. And you have the Xbox Series S at 6,000. And the PlayStation 5 at only 2,000. Now, um, our um, websites are citing... PS5 still sold out, sold everything that they had. And so it was due to inventory shortages why the PS5 only sold 2,000 for that week. So for one week, <coughs> I mean, <laughs> this is the first time ever this has happened. Uh, regardless of what you say, that the Xbox and the Xbox Series S has been selling relatively well globally. Cheap console price for a next-gen gaming experience, but... You can combine 
Xbox and PlayStation 5, their global sales. I think when I looked at VG charts, couldn't match what the Switch alone is doing. And so the Switch is killing it. That's why we're not, we're not getting a Switch Pro. I was watching a video on when Nintendo launched the Super Nintendo. They waited until the uh, NES sales were tanking in the US. And so <laughs> if the Switch sales continue at this pace, 2024, 2025 might be when we get the Switch Pro. Fingers crossed still for March 2023 uh, when a new Zelda game drops, we may get more powerful Nintendo hardware. But that's just rumor and speculation. All right, dudes, those are all the news items for this video. What do you guys think about everything we talked about? Sound off in the comment section below. I want to know. But before you go, bro, click that subscribe button. Stay up to date. All things Nintendo. We out for you.